Hello and welcome. Today is January 7th, 2022, and it's my first video of the new year. And I'm um, doing a quick demonstration of how to connect a handheld radio in your airplane. Uh, despite the fact that it took me two weeks to figure it out, it actually ended up being quite simple and quite effective. Uh, initially, I tried to connect via Bluetooth into my aviation headset, which is a Lightspeed Zulu 3, but I was getting bad audio reports. So I wanted to find a way to connect it in a hardwired manner. So you're looking at the Anytone 878 handheld radio. It's both digital and analog, UHF and VHF. And uh, what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be operating in digital mode. And we're going to connect via an OpenSpot 3. That's this device right here, OpenSpot 3. And that's essentially a radio, which allows two-way communication with the radio. And it also has a Wi-Fi connection to my iPhone, which is out there in my Jeep. So the cell phone has a connection with the nearest cell phone tower. So it has connectivity uh, via cell. And it has a Wi-Fi connection to my open spot 3. That's this device right here. And that flashing uh, green, if you can see it, maybe you can't see that in the video, indicates that it is connected to the iPhone. And as I mentioned, it's also a radio. It establishes two-way radio communication with this handheld. So when I transmit into this radio, it sends a signal to the open spot 3, which then sends that to my iPhone, which then goes to the cell tower, which then goes through the Internet. And you can talk to stations all over the world on this little handheld radio which is about a $300 device. So let me talk about how I figured out how to uh, connect it to the airplane. So the goal was to have audio uh, for this radio, this ham radio, uh, that I could record as well as here in the headset. So all headsets on board needed to be able to hear two-way communications into and out of this radio. You also want to maintain the ability to hear all of the internal communications on all the headsets in the airplane. You also, of course, need to be able to hear air traffic control radios right here. And uh, lastly, I wanted to be able to record as well, because I like to record the flights where I make ham radio contacts. And I send those links out to the hams with whom I've had conversations. And uh, it's, it's a really very rewarding experience uh, for all of us, for me recording it and for the ham operators that uh, are able to see their QSOs from a cockpit perspective. So it's a lot of fun. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this uh, under $20 device that allowed me to connect the radio to the airplane intercom system. So this is the part, and uh, this is made for several manufacturers. This happens to be one for Kenwood, Baofeng, and Anytone, but they also make them for uh, ICOM, Yesu, and a number of other radios, the standard connections for those radios. Uh, if you order it specific to that radio, it will work. All right, so what, what it is is this plug, which goes into the side of the radio, uh, has a four-pole, three-and-a-half-millimeter, uh, relatively standard uh, connector right here. And that goes into, and hopefully you can see this down here, that goes into the intercom uh, right here, this auxiliary jack. That's a very, very common jack on intercom systems on airplanes. So 90 plus percent of airplanes are going to have that jack. And that's designed to allow cell phone communications into your intercom system. So you can transmit into it and receive from it. But it does require a four pole plug. A four pole plug, in case anyone's wondering, this right here. So it's got four conductors with three insulators in between. That allows both uh, transmit and receive. A uh, pretty simple and common device. So that plugs in right here into this adapter. And then the adapter plugs into the side of the radio. Uh, pretty simple stuff. So that plugs in there just like that. And as I said, into the intercom. All right, so now we're gonna do a radio test. And the test we're gonna do is uh, what's called a parrot. And what a parrot does, is you transmit into the uh, system and it essentially echoes back to you whatever it is that you said into the into the transceiver when you did your transmit. So 
let's go ahead and do that. Now, I would fly today, but it's uh, 30 knot crosswinds, dead on 90 degree crosswinds at 30 knots, and that exceeds the airplane's limitation for crosswind flight. So we're not going to go up today. This is just going to be a ground test to see how this thing works. So right now, uh, I'm connected into the intercom system. Uh, so now I'm going to be utilizing my headset microphone and headphones uh, to communicate with this radio. Now, this also includes that the uh, device that I mentioned right here. It also includes a push-to-talk switch. So you have a push-to-talk switch that connects to the intercom system. All right, let's give it a try. Hello, this is Whiskey 7 November Yankee Aeronautical Mobile on the ground Tacoma Narrows Airport, Gig Harbor, Washington radio test. Hello, this is Whiskey 7 November Yankee Aeronautical Mobile on the ground Tacoma Narrows Airport, Gig Harbor, Washington radio test. All right, so in a perfect world, and I haven't tested this in flight yet, I've only had this radio for seven days. Actually a little longer than that. I got it on Christmas and it's now January 7th, so uh, a little bit longer than that. I had no experience whatsoever with digital radios. This is a, a DMR radio uh, and um, there's several different types of digital radios out there. This happens to be DMR. There's also, uh, there's also P25, D-Star, Fusion, several others, not to complicate matters. But so I spent about a week trying to learn this radio and how to program it and all that good stuff. But uh, the focus today is not how to use this radio, but how to interface it with an airplane. All right, so now let's go ahead and, and I'm going to dial through here and come up with, uh, I'll try to connect with e either U.S. or worldwide. That's Worldwide Talk Group 91. Uh, you never know who you're going to get. You could, uh, I could ask for a radio check and get someone from Australia right now uh, because it's not relying on radio propagation where the, where the radio uh, energy is skipping off the ionosphere back to the Earth, making its way around the world. This essentially is going into the Internet. And, so, and uh, there shouldn't be, I don't believe, any issue with utilizing this in the air as long as we have cell phone coverage, we should be good. All right, let's key into the worldwide network. All right, I'm not, I'm not hearing any traffic. Oh, uh, there's a guy right there. All right, so he's in Turkey, in Mersin, Turkey. Hello, this is Whiskey 7 November Yankee Aeronautical Mobile on the ground at Tacoma Narrows Airport. Geek Harbor, Washington, radio check. Uh, station for the radio check, I hear you loud and clear into Chula Vista, California. I'm on an Anytone 878, local repeater about 10 miles away, over. There's sounding loud and clear, so over. All right, so there's a Germany station. Uh, Germany station, this is Whiskey 7, November Yankee. Uh, we're in an airplane on the ground at Tacoma Narrows Airport in Gig Harbor, Washington, and we're testing the connection for our handheld Anytone 878 radio into the airplane. Uh, how do you copy? Whiskey 7, November Yankee, stroke aeronautic mobile on the ground. This is Delta Ontario 1. Radio Tango Hotel Stroke Mike. Uh, I repeat my report. You are sounding loud and clear. No interruptions in your transmission. That sounds quite good and works very well. Over. Very good, Christoph. Uh, thank you for the radio check. Um, I'm happy to get that signal report. It took a long time to get this connected in the airplane in a way where I could. Uh, get good audio. So thank you so much. Uh, you have a good one, 73 to you. And uh, Happy New Year, Christoph. Nice to meet you. This is Whiskey 7, November Yankee Aeronautical Mobile. We are on the ground at Tacoma Narrows Airport. Good 
you one or two each from Frank returning in the past. Thank you very much. I wish you a good travel. Stay safe and also happy new year. 2022. Stay fine and hope to catch you again on the frequency. See you one or two each loud and clear. Thank you, Christoph. W7NY Air Mobile is off and clear. So there, you heard two stations come back. Now, I, I would have come back to the first station that gave me a signal report, but I thought it would be kind of neat for the video to uh, to demonstrate the ability to talk to international stations on this little handheld radio. So that's what we're going to do in the air. And the other thing I'm going to do, uh, which uh, I'll go ahead and show you here real quick, this menu that just came up, this is APRS which is Automatic Packet Reporting System. And right here it's A for Analog APRS. So when I select that, what, what's gonna happen now is the radio in the background is gonna send out a packet signal every 30 seconds from the airplane. And anyone on the ground who monitors APRS.FI, as in Fox India, is gonna be able to see my ground track. Uh, anyone in the world who logs onto that is going to be able to see my ground track from the air because I'll be transmitting this signal into digital repeaters on the ground and then those are going to send that into the internet so they'll be able to see my my uh, ground track and speed and those sorts of things so that will be doing that simultaneous in the background with me having conversations with stations on the digital side of the radio so that's going to be our air test that's going to be part two this part is just how we connected this uh, to the airplane. Now one more test. Let's go ahead and turn on the air traffic control radio. Up here, we're going to tune this to the ATIS frequency, which is the weather. Approach in use. Advise us contact you have, hotel. Coma Tower Station Hotel, time 2255 Zulu. Wind 20018, gust 38. Visibility. One zero sky conditions, two clouds, two thousand seven hundred. Temperature zero four, two point zero zero, altimeter two nine six six. Uh, so there you heard him say gusting thirty eight knots. That's not a good day to be flying up there. Uh, definitely not in this airplane. So we're good. We get a thumbs up. We got a good signal report. The radio is connected into the intercom. We can hear uh, both my transmissions and the receive on this radio on the ham radio. We can hear the same on ATC radios. The way this intercom set up, it gives priority to ATC. So if ATC comes in on this radio, it will quiet the ham radio automatically. So once again, uh, we connected this via this part right here, which allows the radio to interface with the intercom, and then it includes a push to talk switch. Very, very simple setup. So super happy with it. Hopefully this GoPro came out good. I'm not able to test it until after we're done filming here to listen to the audio, but that was the final goal, to be able to record all of this stuff into the GoPro camera. So anyway, so far so good. Thanks for joining me, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on part two where we actually bring it up in the air and give it a test there.